What's up, what's up, what's up everybody? Welcome back to 8th Avenue. And today we will take a deep dive into the very mesmerizing and amazing world of screen displays. So picture this, you're holding your smartphone, binge watching your favorite show and marveling at those vibrant colors. But have you ever stopped to wonder to find out what's behind that stunning display? Well, my friends, today is the day we explore just that. So get ready as we explore everything from your classic LCDs to the cutting edge micro LEDs and everything in between when it comes to display screens. My name is Alexis and I'll explain it. So our journey begins with LCDs, which stands for liquid crystal display. They are the oldest in display technology and these screens use a backlight and liquid crystals to create images. Liquid crystals change their orientation in the presence of an electric current. The liquid crystal layer allows or blocks light from passing through aided by color filters to produce different subpixels. Fun fact, LED displays are essentially just LCDs with LED backlights. So when you see the term LED TV, it's really just a marketing ploy. A big advantage of LCDs is that they are cost effective. So you will find them in many budget friendly smartphones and cheaper TVs and laptops. And they usually perform well in direct sunlight, but a major drawback is that they usually have less color accuracy and representation. Up next, we have OLED displays, which stands for Organic Light Emitting Diode. OLED screens use organic compounds that emit light when an electric current passes through them. Each pixel emits its own light, resulting in true blacks and eye-popping colors. OLED displays have a very high contrast ratio. They are thin and flexible and come with very excellent color accuracy. But OLED displays are susceptible to burn-in, which is a permanent image retention that occurs over time. OLED screens are very common in your high-end and intermediate devices and smartphones. So you'd find them in Samsungs and iPhones and even the watch that I have here, the Huawei Watch Fit 3 uses a variation of an OLED screen, AMOLED. Now let's talk about Mini LED, which is essentially a variation of LCD technology in that it uses smaller LEDs for backlighting. Smaller LEDs mean better local dimming, improved contrast and brightness control. It's like upgrading from a bicycle to an electrical scooter. Some high-end TVs and monitors feature mini LED technology. And then we have micro LED. This is an emerging technology that is not so prevalent in the market because not too many devices use this type of screen yet. But essentially, the technology makes use of microscopic LEDs as individual pixels. So imagine a galaxy of millions of stars individually lighting up your screen. It's self-emissive like OLED, but without the burn-in issues. And finally, we have quantum dot displays. And this is found in many QLED or QLED TVs and very high-end monitors. This technology uses nanoscale semiconductor particles to enhance color accuracy and brightness. And all in all, that was a quick high-level understanding of the different display screens we get on our devices. OLED and LCD continue to be the most common screen types, but exciting advancements like micro LED are on the horizon and I just can't wait to see what further enhancements we get from them. That being said, don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your screen and also like the video. And let me know what your favorite screen type is in the comment section below and also what type of topics you'd like me to cover and look into and I'll explain it.